everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a very warm welcome to you all joining me for a ranty precious metal ramble, I guess, about the reasons why we stack silver and the varying calls for complete collapses within financial institutions and the dollar and the COMEX and what that actually might look like and mean for everyday people all around the world if some of the community that we are now seeing evolve get what they really want. Thousand dollar an ounce silver, complete collapse of the dollar. That's the only way that that scenario is going to ever happen. And I don't think that a lot of people really quite understand that if that does happen, the world will be a very, very different place with a very, look, very different look and feel to it. So I want today to talk a little bit about that and why I feel like that rhetoric is not productive, not something that I subscribe to in any way. And also just generally about why we have the systems that we have and that they actually work in some strange way. And it's not meant as an us versus them scenario. You know, people can believe what they want and I'm not here to completely disparage anybody. But at the same time, there is a line that needs to be drawn between dangerous rhetorics of us versus them and attitudes as well and professionalism is something that I'm also incredibly keen on and something that is somewhat lacking in various circles at the moment. So the calls for thousand dollar an ounce silver uh, and to crash the COMEX, that is I think a very, very counterintuitive potential argument to say is likely. It's something that would only ever happen if there was a complete collapse in currencies, in fiat currencies. Uh, now, I watched a great film uh, a couple of weeks ago called Margin Call. It's got Jeremy Irons and uh, I think it's got Kevin Spacey, Persona Non Grata. It was kind of before his um, you know, bad times. Despite him being in it, it is a very good film about financial institutions, about the failure of a particular fund or company on Wall Street and how it manages to dump everything out before everyone else so they get off much better and they cause this collapse and at the end of that film Jeremy Irons' character is sitting there having a very nice looking meal on a top floor of a penthouse overlooking New York and he's talking with his counterpart Kevin Spacey and he uses this phrase it's only money it's only stuff that we've made up so that we don't run around killing each other for food. And that is exactly what money is for, fiat currency is for. It is a barter exchange tool. It's something that we've come to use so that we don't have to go around murdering each other to get the things that we need to survive. We can buy things instead of going around and battering each other's heads in with clubs. That's what we have evolved to do. So to call for the complete collapse of monetary systems is going to cause a scenario where people will, for want of a better phrase, run around with clubs beating each other up. Because let's be quite frank, if the US dollar does completely collapse and whether it be silver or gold or Bitcoin or whatever it is, takes its place as the new means of currency, there are going to be a very large proportion of the population that don't have any means to support themselves, any means to survive, any means to barter with. There's going to be hardship, there's going to be unemployment through the roof, there's going to be, uh, you know, when unemployment goes up, people, you know, it just forever, I think it's percentage point of unemployment that goes up, 40,000 people per year more die. You know, in that situation where you have 50% unemployment, there will be countless people who just cannot survive, they will just not exist anymore. And that's something which I think a lot of people don't necessarily understand when they call for the crashing of the COMEX and the thousand dollar an ounce silver or the rebalancing of US currencies and the propelling of it. And, and it's fine to think that US dollar and pounds and euros and whatever other currencies out there are going to you know, inflate over time and degrade in value. That's normal. That's what I think is going to happen too. But for you know, for many people to actually advocate the actual squeezing of silver to the point where it really does cripple systems and crash the COMEX and crash the systems that we have that protect generally human beings on this planet. That just seems completely counterintuitive to me. Now, along with all of that in my head, very strange way of thinking about how you want the world to end up, there is now this growing anti-banker rhetoric, this 
anti them and it's all about us rhetoric that I see growing. It's not by any means all of various communities, but I do see it more and more. Uh, you know, people just, I get, I get that people are fed up with the world. I get that there's stuff going on in the world that people don't like, especially with the pandemic and, you know, politics. I have always tried to stay as clear from politics on this channel as I possibly can, but I get that people are hurting right now in terms of how they view the world and how things are going in the world. But at the same time, there is this danger of this rhetoric turning into something a little bit more visceral. And it's you know coming to a forefront, I think. I've seen a lot about uh, Jeff Christian this particular month uh, and some of the really quite vile rhetoric going towards him. You know, he has his opinions. I have my opinions. I get vile rhetoric thrown towards me as well. People have called me uh, a shill, a banker's shill, a government shill. I've even been called a CIA, CIA psyop stupid things like that. Um, you know, we are all here on the same team. That is the most important thing to remember. People buy silver for a myriad of different reasons, but whether or not you buy it because you just want to preserve your wealth, or whether you want to buy it because you want to make a quick turnaround profit over the next coming couple of weeks and months, or a year, we're all on the same team. We're all buying silver. We're all here to enjoy the preservation of wealth that comes from buying our metals. Also, there's this kind of anti-gold rhetoric flying around at the moment. People thinking that silver is, by all accounts, the best thing to buy. All I've got to say to that is that for some people, it might not be right. You know, for us here in the United Kingdom, buying silver brand new from mints at 45, 50% premiums is just not something that's good. You know, with a bullion grade piece of silver, it is really a very poor decision in my mind to go and buy uh, whether it's a US Eagle, we don't really get too many of them here, but a Britannia, for example, at £33 an ounce, brand new from a dealer, is a bad buy in my head. I just don't see that. So myself and a lot of other people turn to gold, and you see this anti-gold stacker rhetoric. You know, ultimately, same team, same team here. But silver is, has always been, to a certain degree anyway, uh, a little bit of a religion for some, and I get that, and a means to stick it to the man and take your uh, cash out of that monetary system. Uh, and that is a very valid reason I have lots of silver in my own collection for partly that purpose, to preserve the buying power, to take it out of pounds and put it into something that will hold better value than a pound will over time. That does not mean that I'm an advocate or a believer in collapsing the pounds that I have in my bank account, because... I don't have everything but you know anything except silver. I have a varying different myriad of investments. I have you know things in pounds. I earn pounds. You know it it is just silly to want to collapse one's own currency. So what I will say is the vast majority of people who uh, who watch my channel, who enjoy my videos, will know and will probably be on the same page as me. We are here for different reasons perhaps than others. Now I can to a certain degree respect the willingness to purchase a lot of silver from people. Uh, but when I see people who say they're going to... Uh, I, I saw one post uh, the other day which just made my heart sink. Somebody is trying to take their final salary pension, which, by the way, if you don't know what a final salary pension is, it is one of the best potential pensions that you can ever have. It's like a gold-plated pension. It's one of the most incredible things that you can get. Really, really good. And they want to change that into a SIP. So they want to cancel their final salary pension, get a lump sum, put it into a SIP, a private pension on their own, and then put the entire pension fund into PSLV. That is probably the most stupid thing that I have ever heard from anybody. And any financial advisor, I'm not a financial advisor, but any sensible financial advisor or even any sensible minded person out there would think, that is a stupid thing to do. And it's not because it's silver, it's because you're putting all your eggs in one singular basket, and that is just, just not clever. So there is this dangerous rhetoric out there of sticking it to the bankers, and it is going to collapse, and people are going to have nothing except the silver that they have, and that will be the new currency, and we're gonna go back on the gold standard. Just consider what is going to happen if that does not happen. And also consider what will happen if we do get there, if we get to a point where the US dollar is collapsed. Goodness me, the world will be different. There will be riots. There will be wars. There will probably be a civil war in the US if the US dollar starts to really collapse. It's a tinderbox at the moment anyway, just with the way the world is right now. 
And I do feel, I honestly do feel that this rhetoric is dangerous. It is not something that I advocate. It's not something that I would advocate. Uh, so just bear that in mind. It's very easy to get caught up in rhetoric like this, in hype like this. Uh, and I would always advocate people to take a really good, hard step back, a look about what's being said, a look about why things are being said, and really assess what is right for each individual and your own financial circumstances and reasons for doing things. Um, I don't know whether this video will actually cut sway with any people who really do think that way. Uh, you know, it is, again, everybody's right to think and feel how they will. Uh, but when you see active bullying and active anti-people rhetoric out there, uh, it is dangerous. It's not something I like and it's something that when I see, either on my YouTube feed or on various different social medias, uh, I'll instantly unsubscribe and just I don't want to hear it, don't want to see it. It's not even big YouTubers that I've subscribed to for a long time. I've seen some things, I've heard some things said that I just do fundamentally not agree with and I will just gone instantly so unsubscribe um, so that's my my thoughts you know at, at the end of that I want to sum this up now um, you know we are all on the same team here uh, and we're all enjoying the journey that is silver and for those of you who are doing so responsibly doing so with this understanding in your mind that silver is not a get-rich-quick scheme it is not a let's go and crash the economy scheme and for those of you who are on that train have a real hard think about the rhetoric there because it is dangerous it is not something that is normal it's not something that is fun and a lot of people say well we're just having a bit of fun and ultimately stack responsibly stack what you will stack how you want to go forward into the future and if that does entail you wanting to crash an economy pff, fine but that's not something that i like or think about anyway rant over ramble over be careful out there, everybody. Try to look at things with perspective. Take a critical thinking approach to everything that you see and hear out there. That is what I will always advocate, and that's what I've always said as well. If you've enjoyed this video, if you've enjoyed what I have to say, and if you agree with the things that I've said, then let me know down in the comment section. If you disagree with what I've been saying here today, that's also fine. But if you're just going to call me a troll, if you're just going to call me a obtuse idiot, then fine. You can just go to Banville. Uh, but if you actually want to engage with a proper healthy debate, then please feel free to do so down in the comment, spe comment section respectfully. Otherwise, have a fantastic week ahead. We'll see you on the next video. And as always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.